What's going on? I'm the College Jew. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. No class change challenge. Okay. In the last episode, we got the slab. We got the chime from the Fane. And in this episode, we're going to go to the Mirage Tower, which is right there. We're going to go there a little bit early. Uh, just to get some better equipment so that I can fight the Water Fiend a little easier. Here's an enemy that's pretty common around this area, Ankylo. These guys are more, way more trouble than they're worth. They're really not worth fighting. They could do like 200 damage to even your most heavily armed character or player or whatever. And I would just get the hell out of here. Sorry if the text is going a little quicker than normal. But that's just the way it goes. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, with the chime you can enter the tower without it, you can't. It's that simple. This room right here. If you're not class changed, then you obviously don't want everything. But uh, if you are class changed, then get everything in this room you will need it. And we have a new enemy, bad man. They're worthless, they don't do much. I would just run from them to Oh hey, there's a robot they were talking about. There's one in the waterfall too. Okay, make a safe state. Yeah, heal a helmet. Knights and ninjas can equip it. Let's see if a warrior can get it. Nope. So it's nice. Knights and ninjas can equip it. Same as a silver helmet. Gives you six defense power. I would prefer that over the opal helmet just because when you use it as an item, it casts heal one, which is very useful. Much more useful than the opal helmet, which just protects you from bolt attacks, which you can use your opal shield or opal armor for. So, you know, if you have knights and ninjas in your party, equip them with heal helmets, because then they can use an item in battle too, so it's nice. Keep that in there. I'm not going to be needing it now. Maybe I'll do a special episode where I class change and I'm at, and I'm at maximum level or something, I don't know. And we get a new item, the Vorpal, the, a new weapon, the Vorpal Blade. Only, I think only like Red Wizards and Ninja can equip it. It's about as strong as the Flame Sword. So I would just sell it or throw it out at this point. Don't need the money. And we got a new enemy, Guard. Guards are weak against Lightning. They have some pretty good defense power. And they don't really do much damage. I think they can paralyze you whatever. But yeah, it's nothing really to worry about. Just hit him with those bolt spells, you'll be fine. Or the Zeus uh, gauntlet. Which is exactly how... Which is exactly what the White Wizard just did. And bolt two, and one's still alive, god damn it. Kill him. Come on, just take him out already. Thank you. Good lord. Oh, I see you can get piss poor money and piss poor experience from him. Now one of these contains the Aegis Shield. That one does. Only a knight can equip it. It protects you from... What do you call it? Petrification. So, very good. Uh, piece of armor for the knight. It gives maximum shield strength, which I think, what, 16 maybe? Something like that. Oh, and the vampire from the Earth Cave makes a return appearance here. They appear in groups of two to, I think, I think two to six, if I'm not mistaken, or two to five. By now, they should be easy for you. It's just fire two. 
or fire three, they can still do the paralysis thing. But since you have lots of items that use magic in your inventory, you'll just be able to fire away, fire away with all your magic using items, and you should be golden. More nightmares of bad men. Fuck you. Go away. I don't care. Yeah, I'm just leaving all the fights in now. That's enough to warrant the full episode anyway, so... If I were to cut it down to six minutes... What would the use be? Nothing. Here's the second floor of the Mirage Tower. You want to get to those treasure rooms right there. Very good stuff in them. Let's keep going. Cerberus make a return appearance from the volcano. And they're easy to kill at this point too, because the players have some good attack and defense pa attack powers and some good spells they have, but I'm just gonna run away because they're they're annoying with their stupid scorch technique which does like two damage. Not worth my time. We do have the cube, so I guess like ideally we could go back we could go up all the way up to the floating castle, but well, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, you meet catmen here too. To hell with those assholes. They suck. Well shit, I guess ideally ideally you could get like you get the Excalibur, get out of the Sky Castle. Back to the sea shrine, and then fight the water fiend with your ultimate weapon for your knight. But one, I'm not class changing, and two, I'm not gonna go to the sky castle before the what do you call it? Sea shrine, because that'd be stupid and pointless. And I don't really have time to be stupid or pointless. Money, money. You got some good items here, though. Thor's hammer is one of them. If you have a white wizard, this is their ultimate weapon. I think it's about as strong as the, uh, like, silver sword or something. But they cast a bolt too when used as a weapon, as an item. So, it's very good. Guess we'll give it to them. Yeah, give the Zeus gauntlet to somebody. I guess either my black mage or my thief will have it. I got rid of the buckler, by the way, for the thief. Too much room in the inventory. There we go, it's not that bad. Sell that Vorpal there for some money. Later on. Buy some level 7 and 8 magic with it. Make an episode at the end of this called The Ultimate Team. Not unlike H.C. Bailey in Final Fantasy IV, when he had like everybody with the a adamant armor, <laughs> that was crazy. He beat the final boss in like two shots. It was ridiculous. Like no, like no one could touch him. And he just finished Final Fantasy VI, so he's got one through six now. No, one through seven. I wonder if he's ever going to do Final Fantasy IX. Because I think that would be really cool if he did Final Fantasy IX. I think his channel says Final Fantasy VIII. But... I don't want him to do Final Fantasy VIII. Spoonie's already kind of did a Let's Play on it. I know it's like a review and he's like saying to everyone how much it sucks. But whatever. Anyway, we got the Sun Sword here. Sun Sword is a very good weapon for your for your warrior. It's one of the more higher end weapons that your warrior can equip, which is good. You're gonna need that for this challenge. Very useful. Very useful. Good upgrade from the Ice Blade. There you go. So I hope you're learning four hits pretty soon. Ninety six hit percentage. You get four hits. It's every thirty two. Thirty two is two hits. Sixty four is three. So on, so on. Awesome. Good weapon for your warrior there. I think this one's just money. And this one contains a suit of dragon armor, which we're not going to get because the knight 
can equip it, not the warrior. And that's going to be for my uh, last, final episode of this. But anyway, uh, so, in the next episode, we're going to go back to the Sea Shrine and fight the Water Feet and take care of that business. See you guys later. Peace.